Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Um, I've had a flurry of recent subscribers, so hello and welcome. I um, started filming my own vlogs a couple of months ago, uh, probably more than a couple of months ago, but I'm not hugely regular at filming. Um, I squeeze it in between teaching, I'm a teacher full time, and I also bake, um, quite often do markets and things, and I've got two girls, so I try and squeeze in videos whenever I can. But anyway, thank you for coming back, or thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Today is a very late video that I should have done ages and ages and ages ago. Um, I wanted to share with you what I got up to in January and all my makes, because I did a um, fabric haul and talked about my plans. So today I wanted to share with you what I actually got round to sewing. Um, so January for me was um, kind of a slower month for sewing. I still managed to make quite a few things, but um, I had to try and be quite careful at when I got my sewing in. Um, start of a new term at school. Um, January's just quite a busy, hectic month anyway. Um, so I'll move on and get straight into what I sort of got sewn up. Um, January was kind of filled with a month of using fabrics that I've had in my stash for a really long time or special fabrics that I haven't wanted to cut into and I finally got round to making. So the first one that I got round to making was um, this pinafore. So I'm going to stand up and show you. <coughs> and I used this amazing fabric. I'll come a bit closer so you can see the fabric with the little like telephones on and rainbows. And I got this from like so amazing. It's a Ruby Star Society fabric. Uh, and I made a pinafore with it. Move the chair. Ooh. Got a little chair to stand on so you can try and see a bit more. Um, so it's a really cute little pinafore dress. Um, and I'll link all the de details down below because I've forgotten the name of this pinafore, which is silly. I should have written it down before I started filming. But it's got a cute little like kangaroo pocket in. Uh, it's quite oversized. And you finish the edges with. Um, bias binding so I chose green bias binding. Um, I was really thrilled with the pocket and how I managed to match it up and pattern match which is great. Um, it's really comfy. I haven't worn it a huge amount if I'm perfectly honest because I don't feel like I've got enough jumpers that go with the colours in it because of the sort of rainbow and then these, um, the cable for the telephone it's like golden. I don't feel like I've got a huge amount of tops that go with it um, and it's quite oversized so I'm not 100% sure whether it is my style or not um, but we'll see. I'm going to try and wear, wear it a bit more. Um, so I've paired it with a South Bank sweater. I love the Nina Lee South Bank sweater top. Um, it's a fantastic pattern and actually one of my makes from January is the South Bank sweater dress which I'll share in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. I'm going to get changed into the second one, um, which shouldn't take too long, so I'm just going to pop my Eden coat over the top. So I'll be back in a second. Hi, so I'm back with my second make. Um, when I paused the video, I quickly checked. This pinafore is the Helen's Closet York pinafore, but I'll link it down below so you've got the information anyway. So this is my Eden coat, which I absolutely love. I'm going to stand up so you can see it properly. Um, yeah, it's great made using this absolutely beautiful fabric uh, from Sister Mintaka. She's sold out of it now, unfortunately, but it's great. I'll stand up uh, so you can see. So I decided to keep the, I think it's the duffel length. So it's just above my knee, because I like coats to cover my bum, and this one definitely does. Um, in terms of lining it, I used a mixture of fabrics that I had in my stash already. So the hood. It's really noisy because of the fabric. Um, but the hood is like a striped ponty, which has got really great um, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? It's got good stretch, but it's also got really good recovery. And then the sleeves I lined with this lobster jersey that I've got, which I quite like the look of when it's turned up. So it's quite contrasting uh, because the fabric from Sister Mintaka has got these beautiful sort of pops of colour, like bright neon pink all over, which I absolutely love. And then the main part of the coat, I lined, I don't know if you can see that properly, um, 
just with a jersey which has got like stars all over it constellations all over it now this has got too much too much give too much stretch it is the wrong jersey to line the coat i'm okay with it because obviously it's for me but i was if i was making it for somebody else i wouldn't be happy with that um i don't really know what to do with it because it's quite quite baggy i don't know whether to try and unpick it and take some out of the this lining here it's not you know it's not terrible it's just not absolutely perfect how i'd want it to be um but i'm making an eden coat for my mum because it was her 60th birthday on um the 29th of february she's a leap year baby um so i'm making her an eden coat and i've chosen a ponty to line it so i'm hoping that turns out better than this this was kind of like my twirl before i made my mum's coat but it's still you know it's a fab coat still keeps me nice and dry when it's pouring and we've had a lot of rain so i've been able to test it out um yeah and i love it so i'm going to change into my third make hi i'm back so this is my third make um i'm not filming these in order of when i made them just these are what i made in january um and this is a nina lee southbank sweater dress so again i'll stand up and show you the full length um i don't know if you can get the the sort of detail of the fabric but it's um I don't know if you can see that it's like it's grey it's glittery and it's got like rainbow speckles anyway I'll stand up so you can see it there it is so um it's quite short so it's quite far up above my knee uh, I've made the sleeves quite long I get really cold so I quite like it being really cozy um not much to say about this make apart from that I absolutely love it I've worn it loads we've had really awful weather in the UK recently it's been freezing cold um, and all I've wanted to do is be wrapped up in snuggly jumpers and this is absolutely perfect it's been great for work um, it's been great for a sort of lounging in around the house um, this fabric is from Sumi Sunshine and it's a uh, fleece back so it's really cozy um, yeah and I've really enjoyed wearing it and I cannot speak highly enough of the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. So if you haven't made one, go and make one because they're amazing. They're really comfortable and there's lots of different variations. And again, I'll link details to the pattern down below. So this was make number three. I'm gonna move on to make number four. I am back with make number four. I think this is probably, apart from my Eden coat, my favorite make. Uh, so I'll stand up and show you, but it's an uh, Tilly and the Buttons Indigo and it's made using Ruby Star fabric um, and I was, absolutely gutted the first time Harriet from Sumi Sunshine um, showed this fabric on Instagram it got snapped up like that I've just realized it's super creased because it's been in the wardrobe it's been too cold to wear this really too cold to wear but I absolutely love it so apologies for the creasing of the fabric I should have ironed it um, I'll stand up so you can see uh, the fabric's just amazing um, quite loose smock style dress um, it's really chuffed that I managed to get a little ruffle on the sleeves. I managed to eke this out of just over a metre. Uh, so as I was saying, it got snapped up the first time Harriet released uh, the fabric. And I was really gutted that I missed out because it's so beautiful. I absolutely love all of the colours in there. Couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, and then I think about a week later, Harriet um, put a remnant on, semi sunshine, and I snapped it up. So just over a metre, and I'm really pleased that I managed to get such a cool dress out of it. Um, I wore it a few weeks ago, paired it with like plum coloured tights and I've got some really beautiful coral shoes which I paired it with too and it, it just looked really cute. Um, so I did share a photo on Instagram of that uh, when it was a lovely sunny day. The sun has been very rare recently. Um, so yeah, because of the short sleeves, I haven't really had a chance to wear this much but I'm hoping when the spring weather finally arrives I'll get to wear it lots and lots because I love it and I just love the colours that are in it. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, on to the next make. Hello, uh, so make number five is something that I'm embarrassed to say took me forever to insert a zip into. I don't know why. Um, I made the Selena dress um, using this beautiful fabric. I'll stand up in a second um, from a So Haley Jane box. I cut it out when I got the fabric, absolutely loved it. Obviously, washed the fabric first, cut it out stitch the dress together and then for some ridiculous reason it sat hanging up waiting for a zip to go in I don't know why I'm not I'm not afraid to put zips in anymore um I don't know why it took me so long but anyway I'll stand up so you can see I love 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 the Selena dress um 
I like the shape. I love the bow detail. I love the fit of it. Um, it's got a slit up the middle, which is lovely. Um, and the skirt's just really swishy. I chose not, you can put um, a bow on the sleeves, but I chose not to because being a teacher, it's not practical to have uh, a bow hanging down when I'm trying to sort of paint or fill up glue or, you know, help with shoelaces or whatever it is that I need to do on my uh, day job. But this fabric is just beautiful from Sir Hilly Jane. She always picks the most amazing uh, fabrics. So yeah, it's got the zip in. It's got the lovely bow detail. I love what it does to the skirt, the bow detail. It really brings it in. So like I said, I've got absolutely no idea why it took me so long to insert the zip because I absolutely love this dress now. Um, I'm an early years teacher. I don't wear this when I'm teaching in class, but I have one day out, one day a week out of class uh, to do leadership stuff. So I tend to save pretty dresses like this for that kind of day. Um, on to make number six, I think. Okay, I'm back. It is make number six. I was losing track. Um, so I've made lots of dresses. And if you follow me on Instagram or you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I am completely obsessed with jumpsuits. So, of course, a jumpsuit had to make it into my makes for January. And it's the Zadie, just in case uh, anyone was wondering. Um, I absolutely love the Zadie jumpsuit. I love the pockets. Huge pockets. I love this detail. I love the wrap. Uh, I just love the fit. The trousers are amazing too. Uh, this fabric, I don't know if you can see that properly, um, is from Material Girl Laura. And as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what I wanted to make. And it had to be a jumpsuit. So I'll stand up and show you. Uh, yeah. So it's not normally, it's sticking to me at the moment. I think it's because I've still got my tights on underneath. It's not normally like that. Um, but yeah, I love it. Like I said, I love the pockets. The pockets are huge. So you can fit loads in the pockets. Uh, the fabric was an absolute dream to work with, apart from it going really static now, but I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, uh, colour's beautiful. It's like a sort of turquoisey blue. And then I love like these splodgy sort of black bits in, almost like leopard print, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. Um, yeah, I love it. It's really comfortable. Um, and I made this because I took my youngest to go and see the Nutcracker at the ballet. Um, in January. It was a nice treat to look forward to once all the Christmas stuff had been over and done with and it was perfect for going to the ballet. I uh, put on some nice little black boots and it was a really lovely fun evening out with um, my little one. We really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, so on to the last make, yeah, make number seven. I am back with the final make, make number seven. Um, I meant to say I'm filming in my bedroom, that's why the back looks different. Um, that's where I tend to hang, hang my coat. Um, yeah, the lighting um, in like my sewing space was not great today. It's a bit of a grey, miserable day in London. Um, and everything was just showing up a bit better in here. So I do hope the light's been okay. But we'll see when I watch this back before I put the video together. Anyway, final make. Uh, again, one of my favourite patterns, um, the Wild Gown. Um, made using this gorgeous viscose from... Now I think I got this from Guthrie and Garney. Lots of other places had it and they sold out and I was really upset that I wasn't quick enough to grab some because I love the hot pink colour and then also like the greens that are in there and the blacks, it's just really lovely. Now I love the wild gown, absolutely love it. Uh, when I made this one, um, with most of my makes, I finished them on the overlocker. I just find it a nice, neat finish, um, unless I want to use like bias binding to finish, like the Helen Closet York Pinafore was all bias bound. I tend to use the overlocker, it's easier, it's quicker, it gives a really neat finish. Um, you'll see when I stand up, I caught the dress, I'm really sad about it, and I need to work out the best way to fix it, but, I don't know if you can see, I caught the dress here in the overlocker, um, from afar, you can't tell, but I know it's there. Uh, anyway, this is, it's a shorter version, so it's, it's got one tier, and then if I step down, I've added another, ooh, it got a bit dark, uh, another ruffle. But yeah, I'm really sad about this bit. Because you can see it, I, th I think I'm going to have to 
it was a bit of a hole and then I tried to stitch it I'm just gonna have to I think I've got a scrap bit of this fabric left so I think I'm gonna have to try and patch it because um, the rest of it's fine you know I absolutely love the rest of it I love the looseness of this dress um, and I've been wearing my wilder gowns with a jumper over the top a bit like what I've been doing with the indigo I've been wearing them with a jumper over the top and I find that that one keeps me warm means I can wear a pretty dress Two makes it look like I'm wearing a jumper and a skirt. And three means I get to wear all my lovely dresses whilst it's freezing cold. So uh, if anyone's got any ideas for patching where you've made a hole in something, let me know. Because I'm trying to figure things out. Um, so that's all of my makes for January. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Because then you'll find out when my next video comes out. Um, the next one, I'm not going to do a um, fabric haul for February, although I did get quite a few bits of fabric. What I did manage to do, and if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen this, but I managed to work my way through Tilly's new book, um, Make It Simple. I had half term in February and I set myself uh, the challenge of being able to sew everything that's in her book. Um, and I, I managed to do everything, which is great, apart from I didn't do the wrap play suit but I did make the jumpsuit Sophia trousers I hope I'm saying that correct um, my favorite thing probably Tabitha t-shirt and t-shirt dress or the Sophia dungarees so I'm gonna film a video of all the things that I've made from her book and I'll sort of show you the pattern in the book and what I've made um, but I got to meet Tilly at the stitch festival last weekend um, and it was really lovely to meet her and I, it was really, really lovely to meet Shelley, who is the Crafty Mum Sews, I think she's called on Instagram, who we've been friends on Instagram for ages. We've been messaging and, you know, commenting on each other's things, but we managed to actually meet last week and it was so lovely to finally meet her and she's so lovely. So, hi Shelley, if you're watching, it was really nice to meet you and we're planning some more sort of meetups and things. And I'm really hoping to go and meet, eventually, um, Kath from Kath Craft on Instagram. Um... We message all the time as well, and I know Shona from Sew's Faction does some like social days where you can go do sewing, and apparently that's near Kath. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out for some dates that I can make, and then hopefully we'll be able to meet, because it's really lovely to meet sewing people in real life. Um, and I got to see lots of people at the Stitch Festival, which was really lovely. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!